out a killer leg day session before 6 a.m. Who is she? Trey does not have his summer school session, I think until next week. I don't even know like all the details. I know struggles, but I am getting at Planet Fitness at 4 a.m. when they open. No excuses, showing up, doing the damn thing, winners adjust, and following through made it happen. And whoa, Nelly, we had a killer leg day session. I went faster this morning, as you guys saw, because obviously I wasn't eating at 3.30 in the morning, and I felt great. I lifted 230 pounds with a hip thrust still. It was heavy, but not as heavy as it was last Monday when we ate, so that was interesting. But we were able to do 30 minutes of incline walking, freaking beast mode it out, almost 700 calories burned, heart rate up almost the majority of the workout, and felt freaking fire. Started out this 38th year of life right, right? So I just feel absolutely incredible at 6.20 in the morning. I've got the whole day now to get all kinds of ish done, which makes me happy. I'm feeling productive. I'm feeling fire, guys, and I hope you guys are too. I hope you are doing well out there. I hope you had a great week too. I hope you are starting this week three bomb. By the time you're watching, this is week four, so I hope you are starting your week on the right path. We took off yesterday for Memorial Day because we just got back from camping. And let me tell you, I feel like camping is more work than it is relaxing any day, especially when I have to do all the planning and do all the things. My moms, y'all can relate out there. This week, I'm getting back on track. I took three rest days, so now we are just gonna go balls to the wall, beast mode, and freaking crank it out. Excited, today is my birthday, so we are going to indulge anabolic style and go a little bit over my a lot of calories today, but being that I just burned 700 and we've got walking to do today, we are going to be just fine. I cannot wait for all the yumminess I have planned today. It's going to be awesome. Did you move your body today, guys? Are you making excuses? Quit making excuses and show up for yourself. It is never too late, guys, to change your life. Never, ever too late. Don't make excuses. Don't say that you're too old. There is an excuse for everything, and you just need to get out of your own head and freaking show up. Show up for your life. Seven forty-five, first meal of the day. Crazy boys in the background. We've got a tortilla hack. So it's the same thing we did with the breakfast sandwich here on my channel and on Instagram. I've got one of the tortillas you saw, and we've got eggs, spinach. We've got the butterball turkey sausage in there. One of the laughing cow cheeses, the garlic and herb, and then one tablespoon, of course, of the Gaines Bakery sweet poppy sauce. Eclipse chocolate prime protein, coffee with cinnamon, Lord of mercy, 399 calories and four net carbs to get us started. That was bomb, but I don't think the tortilla was necessary. Like I couldn't even really taste the tortilla. All I could taste was like eggs and sausage and sweet poppy, let's go. So I think next time I will save my two net carbs and just do like a big omelet like that with the laughing cow cheese in the middle. Oh, so creamy, so good. 10.30, we're back from running errands and I have been up since three. So even if I wasn't up till three, you know I would be doing this anyway and it's my birthday. And it's a new flavor because I got it from the vitamin shop. I got wasted and got like four cases. Um, Yes, I did. Strawberry Blast. Since I like that Purple Kittles one so much, I figured I like them because it's like in the same old collection. I'll update you and let you know. Well, what are you doing on your birthday? Oh, meal prepping. Isn't that what all 38 year olds do on their birthdays? Meal prep? Update on the Strawberry Blast one. Not my favorite. I like it, but it's not my top for sure. And that makes me mad because I bought a case of it from the vitamin shop. But you know, the girl's gonna go through it. I love strawberry. They have a strawberry, what is it, Delish or whatever one. I was up in the air about which one I should try and I picked this one. <sighs> I wish they had these more available to try before you committed to a damn case. I am committed to, I need to order some more. I'm almost out of this one. This is the orange pineapple one, Relight Immunity. It is only 11 o'clock and I'm on my second half gallon because it's so freaking early and we've been doing all the things. And yes, look at the new hydro jug sleeve with the cactus and the mint jug here for it. And they've got like a new neon one coming out that would already have went out when you're watching this. So y'all make sure to follow me on IG because I'm constantly giving y'all the heads up about things that are launching in real time and all that good jet. A quarter 12, it is lunchtime. So I've got two of my turkey wraps with a whole package of the diesel oven roasted turkey breast from Imperfect Foods, cucumbers, mushrooms, spinach. We've got sweet poppy sauce on there, of course. What else? We've got some egg whites on the bottom. Really good to get that extra protein in. And then we've got a bag of the Orville Redenbachers. That is the butter flavor, little mini smart pops. 
And then we've got our hydro jug with the electrolytes back there for 396 calories, under 400 calories. I preach this every week, how crazy the quantity you can get on this stuff, the volume with the amount of calories. 26 net carbs for our birthday lunch win. Lunch was epic as always. We have an epic snack coming. Dinner's gonna be epic. I got the red beans going in the crock pot. Already made the cornbread, muffins, and we've got a hellacious dessert. What the actual heck? Here for it. 2.15, eating snack early because I know dinner's gonna be hellacious and we have a huge dessert to do as well. So I've got two of the Lumberg Organic Lightly Salted Brown Rice Thin Stackers. Look how thin they are. Love these things so much. Get them from Thrive Market. And on top, we made our own peanut butter that I do for the peanut butter and French toast sandwiches. So freaking good. So it's non-fat plain Greek yogurt with some of the peanut butter powder, add a little water, and then we did a tablespoon each of the good, good strawberry jam for our little peanut butter and jelly sandwich snack. 241 calories, 21 net carbs. Trey and I just got back from a little 30 minute tray walk. So when we left, we were at exactly 12,000 even steps. And now we're a little over 14,000. So I will take it, Trey. Get them out the house, y'all. Get them active. Six o'clock, birthday dinner. Moment of truth, what I've been waiting for anyway. Red beans and rice. We've got 200 grams of cauliflower rice from Sam's Club at the bottom. Half of a portion of the red beans. Yes, I weighed it all out, divided it up. We did all the things, did all the math. We've got the cutting cornbread. So I, this is a Weight Watchers cornbread recipe. It looks similar to mine, but you use the Lakanto sugar-free sweetener in it instead of regular sugar, and you use a special cornbread that I did. So everything is 550 calories, 51 net carbs. This is a ton, but I am going to live my best life. And let me show you what else I'm living my best life with. Don't judge me. If you watch my grocery haul, you know I bought some I bought some sodas. And I've already busted into this one. And it is freaking bomb. Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar. If you like cherry, which y'all know I'm all about that life, this tastes like the real deal. Like, I feel like I'm drinking a straight up sugary soda. I'm here for these. So I got the Mountain Dew Zeros. I also got my OG Cherry Coke Zero that I used to drink prior to keto all the time if you've been with me on YouTube. Cannot wait to have all these things back in my life. I know, right? Moderation, moderation. Let's get it. Birthday dinner. Big 3-8. That was next level heaven. Three years, way too long for that. That red bean and rice recipe is like the first video, Foodie Fridays video I ever did here on YouTube. It's still up. It's the same exact recipe. I just halved it. And then you can't even tell with the collie rice that that wasn't regular rice. And this cornbread was really good. I will link it down below with the Pinterest recipe for that. Almost eight o'clock and my mind is blown right now. So I just made Greg Doucette's, one of his ice creams in his anabolic cookbook. And you guys, this is not even the large version. This is the medium version. Are you guys seeing this? Like what the actual hell? Oh my God, a Nicole Burgess portion right here. I love that man to death. Yeah. Oh my gosh, like you could totally do the small portion and be fine. This with the strawberries and the Hershey sugar-free syrup, 304 calories, 14 net carbs for this big ass bowl. Happy birthday to me, girl. Y'all, I am hurting, hurting 30 minutes later. Y'all know usually I'm licking the damn bowl. I am so next level full. I have not been this full. I can't remember the last time I've been this full ever in my life. This stuff expands in your stomach. That xanthan gum, oh yeah. But man, high volume, halfway through, I was like wanted to throw in the towel. But you know how I am. I'm like, we're not quitting. We're not giving up. Small serving is where we need to go. This was the medium size in his recipe book. There's also a large. Who the hell eats the large size? Not even this girl could get through the medium size. You know it's bad. Oh, Nelly. So I highly recommend delicious. And a lot of y'all were saying y'all did not like this sugar-free syrup. I liked it. Uh, I'm weird. I know. And the strawberries on it, on point. That was epic. But like, I need to go to bed. I'm, I'm stuffed and I need to be rolled to the bed right now.
Happy hump day. These early morning workouts may just be the end of me. Huggle Bus City today lifted heavy for back day. Felt great doing my strength training. As soon as I got on that damn treadmill, y'all, I was halfway at the 15 minute mark and I wanted to die. I wanted to literally crawl up on that treadmill and just die. The last 10 minutes, five minutes, I had to bust out every tune I could on my playlist and just power through, y'all. I struggle just like you guys. Do not ever compare yourself to me and think that it is easy for me. I say that every week because I get that comment all the time from people. I wish I could do what you do. I wish I had time to go to the gym. I wish I could lift as heavy as you. I wish, I, I wish, wish, wish. Quit wishing, girl, and freaking do because let me tell you, I am doing. I'm not wishing. I'm doing. I'm doing the damn thing. I'm getting up at freaking 3.15 in the morning and coming to the gym because I have no other option, but I want to strength train. I want want to do better for my overall health. I want to get that 30 minutes of cardio in each and every day. I'm not making a freaking excuse. I am showing up and doing the damn thing. And you can too, guys. Don't ever doubt yourself and don't ever belittle yourself and think that you are not worth what you are worth. And don't think that you're not capable of doing great things because you are. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to get your inner voice out of your head and just follow through man. You just got to do it. Just do it as Nike says. And as Jen says all the time, she says it too. Just do it. Absolutely. We freaking killed it though. We did it. Feeling good now that it's over, right? And feeling accomplished and getting up earlier and doing your workouts and doing steps. I had crazy steps yesterday, like almost 20,000 steps because of me waking up so early and doing all the things. We went on the tray walk. Can't do that today. It's supposed to rain, but just moving as much as I possibly can and just doing as much as I can, giving it all for my cut. And that's all you can ask of yourself. Don't worry about the scale. We talked about the scale last week and how the scale is a damn liar. I proved that from weighing one day to the next and it's like a two pound difference. Guys, your body's got so much going on, especially if you were strength training, if you were doing new diet and nutrition, stress, sleep, all those things factor in. So don't give everything and rely everything on that number on the scale. There is more to it. I'm feeling so good in my body right now. I'm feeling so confident in my body loving the definition I'm seeing with muscle gains, feeling clothes are loose. Like I tried on shorts this weekend when camping and they were like tight as hell in the ass area. I'm not going to lie prior to this cut. Loose. Waist was loose, room in the booty. Hope we're not losing our booty games. You know what I mean? Like non-scale victories all the freaking time. Let's go. And one thing I want to talk about today too is totally off subject. I'm getting a lot of comments from the videos and on Instagram about things that I'm consuming and ingredients because you guys are not used to me eating dirty keto things and, and dirty stuff. And I've mentioned this video after video. I'm chasing results right now. I am not worrying about ingredients. And I admitted last video that I was too wrapped up in ingredients because guess what? Something can be really great ingredients, but if you eat the whole bag, it's a thousand calories. You're going to gain weight. Yeah, was that bag of really awesome Siete Mexican cookies, really good and good ingredients. Yeah, it was, but you ate the whole bag and now you had a thousand calories, but it was good ingredients. Yeah, but you ate a thousand calories. Uh, there's a disconnect there too. So I, that was the same thing with me. I was eating things. Oh man, it's good. It's good. Great, great ingredients, great ingredients. But when you add up the calories, it was overload, fat overload. And that's not going to make you lose weight. That's going to make you retain fat. Yeah. Was it good for me ingredient wise? Yeah. Was it good for my overall health and body to gain body fat? No. So some things we have to pick and choose our battles for our goals. And right now I am trying to lose fat. So I am decreasing calories. I'm decreasing fat. And there are some products that I'm able to do that with that maybe I wouldn't have chose before because of the ingredients. But in the grand scheme of things, looking back now, these things are not even affecting me what I was told when I was researching and watching other people. Oh, inflammation, you're gonna feel bloated. Overall gut health, you're not gonna be able to go to the bathroom, yada, yada. Zero, zero, as Greg Doucette says, as far as any side effects of these things. So I'm rolling with it and you guys can 
judge me and leave comments, but you shouldn't because everybody's journey is different and what everybody is choosing what's best on their health journey, you should respect. You don't have to make a comment, you don't have to like it, but you don't have to tell them that they're doing wrong. Almost nine o'clock, first meal of the day. Not gonna lie, I took a 40 minute power nap while the boys were still sleeping, brought Waylon to school. Trey just got done eating breakfast and now mommy's gonna eat breakfast. And this breakfast is 352 calories, 40 net carbs. We've got our Bob's Red Mill oatmeal cup. I haven't talked about breakfast on the vlogs, we've just been showing them because of my schedule, but now I can. 15 grams, or no, 30 grams of strawberries. We've got the Equip strawberry protein powder in there. So freaking bomb. A buttload of peaches, that's 247 grams, and y'all haven't seen me drink hot coffee. I can't remember the last time I drank hot coffee, honestly. So it's one of my favorite K-Cups. I did two tablespoons of the nut pods, have my little handy dandy little gadget here. We did one packet of the Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. I might do two next time, and I put cinnamon in it. Here for it. Next level starving. We got done working out uh, before six o'clock and it's nine o'clock and we're just eating our post-workout meal. I'm not liking this schedule, I will have to say. Whew, your girl needed that. I was hungry. My stomach was growling when I was napping, but the girl, you know, I was like out sleeping for that 40 minutes. It felt so good. And man, having a hot coffee was nice. That was a nice change to just have the hot coffee with the Lakanto and the nut pods. Mm -mm. I am almost finished with my first half gallon of the day and it's almost nine o'clock so you know with these early days uh don't judge me down below i've had people say oh my gosh all that caffeine yes girl all that caffeine because i'm waking up at 3 a.m did you not hear me 3 a.m i yes i am drinking all the caffeine that i can consume to function mom life work life doing all the things uh you would be too until the caffeination commences we are doing our redmond relight electrolytes these are still the immunity ones the pineapple orange my second half gallon loving this new hydro drug sleeve always have a discount code link down below for you guys we're gonna hold off on the caffeination until probably around 10 and then we're getting wasted 1106 begin caffeination we're doing my favorite lately is this purple kittles i know a lot of y'all said y'all can't find it the only place i could find it locally was at a gas station at a circle k and I got these off of the vitamin shop that had a killer deal. And I'm getting my caffeine on. Let's go. Lunchtime, we've got 6.2 ounces of salmon that I put a bunch of the Redmond's Real Salt Organic Lemon Pepper. Y'all know I love that for fish and for shrimp and all that. In the air fryer, I've got 200 grams of Brussels sprouts that I cut and I coated because I saw on Bain's Bakery's Instagram that somebody said that if you coated Brussels sprouts or asparagus in the sriracha maple and put it in the air fryer, it was life. I told you guys this is spicy, but I think that's going to be bomb. So I cannot wait to try that. And when this comes out, I'm going to try the new Gaines Bakery mutant sauce. I've been wanting to try it so much. And this supposedly has like a little ginger kick to it. I thought that might be good with the salmon. Y'all, the Brussels sprouts are life. They were not lying. Like it's not spicy because it's cooked onto the Brussels sprouts, but it's like sweet tangy flavor oh man like no other way oh my gosh i'm just loving finding out new things that are like so bomb we've got our salmon i did taste the mutant sauce on its own i can't put my finger on it yet so y'all let me eat it and i'll let you guys know it's good it's not spicy it's got a little it does have that ginger kick and it is sweet as well i don't know it's it's different that's for sure Got our purple kill bangs back there. This is 464 calories and 12 net carbs. Next level flavor explosion in your mouth right there. Holy shnikes. That mutant sauce is bomb on salmon. Like I won't have salmon any other way except with mutant sauce. Like I'm not even lying. I bet it would be so good on any fish, shrimp. Oh man, that ginger in it. Spot on Gaines Bakery, spot on. You wanna know a good way to get your second half gallon almost done at 12 o'clock? Eat something with a little kick in it. It'll make you drink the H2O. Almost three o'clock, Trey and I are about to go for a walk, weather permitting, it's been hit or miss. So my snack is one of the cilantro lime and the lightly peppered turkey sticks by the new Primal. Love these so much, get them from Thrive, but you can find the lightning deals on Amazon I mentioned in that meal plan video that I posted. And then I am gonna have a soda. I'm done with my gallon for the day. We drink coffee, we drink a bang, like getting up early, we're drinking all the things. A cherry cola zero. These were my jam prior to keto. 
burrito here for this. Four o'clock, just got back from my 30 minute tray walk. So when we left, I had right under 9,000 steps. It was like 8,900 and now we are at 11,500. Let's go Trey, getting mommy extra active and getting him out the house too. Almost five o'clock, got the oven preheated to 375. I mentioned this, a Will Tennyson subscriber submission recipe on his channel. It is anabolic Parmesan chicken and it is so freaking easy to make. So here's my portion. You see, I weighed it and I already put the ounces on there last night. There's the hubbies. I've been getting my arm gains on pounding away and getting this super thin chicken breast, the Cook's Ventures from Imperfect Foods. We've got some pizza sauce, fat-free mozzarella cheese, and you need some type of Quest chips. It doesn't matter which ones for your coating. Bake it for 15 minutes. We're going to throw some peas on the side for the first time in three years here for all of it. Y'all make sure to watch those grocery haul and meal plan videos. We talk about everything there in detail ahead of time, a week ahead of time. These are the peas that I'm using because they're the only ones I could find that did not have added sugar. They are just peas and water, not even any added salt to them. Sodium super low, as you can see, because it's a no salt added. These are the ones that you want. All the other ones had added sugar, like buttloads of sugar and corn syrup. What the hell are you trying to do our peas, y'all? Kept the peas in the juices. Don't add any butter, anything like that. We don't want the extra calories and fat. I added garlic powder, not Italian seasoning, onion powder, salt, and pepper. That's going to be for the chicken. Y'all, all this, that is all my portion plugged in my macros. What? There's the hubbies. I did way less uh, pizza sauce and the macros went down significantly. You didn't need eight ounces at all. It was like a fraction of that. I did the full amount of cheese though and I sprinkled a bunch of Italian seasoning, 15 minutes in the oven. Let's see what this is all about. Are y'all seeing this giant sized meal? I am so down for this right now. This looks amazing. I tasted the cheese. Don't knock that fat-free cheese by Kraft, y'all. It is the poo. I'm just saying, I am loving it. 796 calories. 24 net carbs oh my gosh like most of the net carbs is coming from the peas obviously because we use the quest chips we've got the fat free cheese we've got chicken we've got the marinara sauce and then hump day's dinner let's go we got a keeper y'all so these are my suggestions plus chips give it the crunch especially if you don't cover the whole chicken like i did with the sauce the spots that were exposed i put on their broiler super crispy with those chips so do like will did and just put the sauce and the cheese in the middle of your chicken that way the rest of the chicken with the coating gets super crispy the flavor though was so chicken parm i would have added a little bit more spice to the chicken the chicken itself was a little bland unless you had everything on it in one bite but other than that y'all man that was a winner and peas back in my life we talked about this in the grocery haul i love canned freaking peas i don't like frozen i like frozen everything else veggie but for me Peas got to be in the can, and so many of you guys were the opposite. It's so funny how we're so different, but that was epic. 7.15, our last meal of the day is going to be a repeat of the portions of peaches, just like we had this morning, just keeping it light, but keeping it a little bit higher carb, so we have something first thing in the morning. 7.39, peaches on point. Love those frozen ones from Whole Foods. We had a great day macro-wise today, great day of movement. I mean, one of y'all asked on Instagram, like, how many calories I'm burning a day? Are y'all seeing how many steps? I'm, like, freezing. <laughs> how many steps I'm getting a day? I got, like, almost 16,000 steps yesterday. It was insane. Macros popped up. I will say I'm ready for my regular, back to my regular routine because it's getting four or five hours of sleep is not cutting it and will affect your journey big time. And I am feeling it. I am feeling the drag. I've never felt so alive in my life. Cause you make me come to life every time I'm free. Happy Thursday! Y'all, I 
am sleepy, not tired. I mean, I guess tired, but sleepy AF. This 3 a.m. thing is got to go, y'all. Oh my gosh, it is so hard. It is so hard to get up at three o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. But guess what? We are disciplined, which means that you show up and you do something when you do not want to, but you know it needs to be done because you've got goals, you've got gains to accomplish. And that's what we freaking did. Biceps and triceps this morning. I felt great strength training. I was tired. I wasn't tired like physically, but just like sleepy tired. Like I needed a couple of extra hours of sleep. I'm hoping the boys will sleep a little bit longer. I might take another power nap because that definitely helped me yesterday morning. But man, I am looking forward to this weekend to be able to get some rest and some sleep and hopefully we can get back on schedule uh, soon. That is my hope. Treadmill, it wasn't as bad as yesterday, but it is still a freaking monster as I'll get out. So many of you guys are trying the 13 incline and telling me, oh my gosh, Nicole, it is so freaking hard. It's such a burn. I burned so many calories. I told you so. It is no joke. So don't think, oh my gosh, all you're doing is walking, you know, at 3.0, so slow. Try it, try it and come back and let me know how much of an easy workout it was. Just come back and tell me. Now, feeling great though that that is accomplished, you will never leave a workout feeling like, oh my gosh, I wish I wouldn't have showed up. I wish I wouldn't have did that. You will never feel those feels. You will always feel a million times better walking out of the gym than you did going in for sure. Guarantee on the box every single time you will. I'm looking forward to today. We have a great day of eating prepared for us this morning for breakfast later on and for the rest of the day. So it's going to be a good day. Positive vibes will get over any tiredness, any negative thoughts that you have. Bev that's in your head each and every day. You just got to have that positive mindset and great things will follow. 823, the boys let me sleep in a little bit. Got a little over an hour power nap and now we've got a power breakfast I'm excited about. We've got two of the Lundberg thin rice cakes with the Lacanto peanut butter powder. I just mix water in that till it gets to the peanut butter consistency and then spread it on with some banana cinnamon banana over here. So a total of 101 grams of banana. We've got Frenchy eggs, which is just 150 grams of egg whites, 10 grams of raisins mixed in with cinnamon on top, two pieces of the Applegate turkey bacon, and then our Equip chocolate protein coffee. Everything that you see here, including the coffee, 460 calories and 41 net carbs. No coffee would have been under 400 calories. Like that's crazy because this is going to be great to power me and the girl needs it. Breakfast for the win. That was awesome. That will definitely be a repeat combo there for the macros. And I love that light combo anyway. Just gonna let you guys know it has already been a full week of the caffeine. We might as well just make this title caffeinated on overload, right? The girl is definitely getting caffeinated today because that coffee, that helped me, food helped me. But I need all the help I can get y'all. I've got to get my AWS in bed, but I can't with the mom life and everything. Struggles are real. 10.30 for someone that's tired AF, that power nap surely helped because I've been organizing drawers, cleaning out closets, picking up, doing all the cleaning things. That has been way overdue, but we are doing more caffeine. Bang, a pina colada, just to give the girl extra pep in her step, even though I'm feeling pretty damn productive. Like, who is she? 12 o'clock lunch break. We're doing a big ass salad. Instead of doing chicken like y'all have seen me do the past couple weeks, I'm doing one of these chicken of the sea wild caught ahi yellowfin tuna cups from Walmart. The macros on them are crazy good and they are super duper clean. Love raspberries, turkey, bacon, egg, cucumber, spinach, Romano on there. Oh my gosh, so good. And then of course, salads are like not salads without sweet poppy sauce now. Like I won't eat them any other way. I'm even thinking about taking a bottle of this. I am gonna take a bottle of this when I go on my girl's trip, but definitely sneaking in in restaurants and stuff for salads because that's the way to go. It is freaking life. This meal is 445 calories, nine net carbs. I filled up my water with more water with the electrolytes from Redmond's. I've just been going like gung ho. Like when I start cleaning, are y'all like OCD compulsive when you start? It's like you cannot stop until it's all done. And then you like have squirrel moments and you're going off and doing all these other things. 
It me, girl, it me. Big ass salad for the win. If you're not doing big ass salads and these big ass bowls from Target that are like $3 that I'm obsessed with, but Gaines Bakery sauce, you're not living your best low carb life. 2.30 snack time, we're doing cottage cheese and strawberries, but like last week, we weighed up so many things and so many of you said the same thing with like your proteins and stuff, supposed to be a pound and it's short like two ounces. This one's short too, it's supposed to be 142, which isn't a big difference, but I still have this other one I opened up last week to make up the difference I'm gonna add in because I want every single gram, all right? When we on this cutting plan, we want every single macro we got plugged in. I promise there's cottage cheese down there. It's the pineapple one, but I've got 200 grams of strawberries today on the dot, as you guys can see, 164 calories, 15 net carbs for our first snack. With my snack, I'm almost finished with my second half gallon, so we are getting caffeinated Mountain Dew Zero. If you watch that grocery haul, you know all the different sodas I bought. Living my best life. I cannot wait to try this because they did not have such a thing prior to keto. I was drinking the real deal, and that's why we were overweight. It's five o'clock, getting dinner ready. We're doing hamburger in a bowl. I did weigh this up, and it was right under 16 ounces. It was 15.7, so good job, Target, 96% Laura's ground beef for not being way off. And all we have in there is the new Primal Classic barbecue seasoning. I just got two more from Thrive Market. Love this stuff so much, especially on sweet potato fries. It is fire. So we're just gonna build a big bowl hamburger bowl, just like you would do keto. No big deal. What I'm gonna do to my cooked ground beef, I've been loving adding the Laughing Cow cheeses to it for that creamy texture and that cheese flavor. So I'm gonna do the creamy spicy pepper jack. Just dump it in there, microwave it a little bit just to melt it through. And then we're gonna put it on top of my salad. I've already have weighed up, a little romaine. So here we have hamburger in a bowl, anabolic style, keto style. This whole bowl, guys, this huge bowl is 11 net carbs, 492 calories. So I've got mushrooms in there. We've got two pieces of turkey bacon. We've got eight ounces of the lean ground beef pickles. What else is in there? We've got Gaines Bakery sweet poppy sauce and Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce, salt and pepper for the win. Y'all, that was so easy and so flipping good. I'm definitely gonna have this as a lunch option. You could do it with ground turkey and that would even shave the calories a little bit more, but under 500 calories for that big ass bowl of hamburger, cheeseburger deliciousness, I'm here for it. I'm stuffed and I have an epic dessert coming. You know we doing dessert. We never skip dessert. 7.35 is dessert time. So we are doing a mini bag of the Smart Pop, but we're doing the kettle corn. I love having this one as a dessert. It is so good if you haven't tried it. 100 calories, guys. You cannot beat it. And then I've got six servings of the strawberry peanut butter protein sickles by Greg Doucette. I made these week one and I have a million to go through. So these are delicious, super easy meal prep and meal prep that's gonna last you for months. Just make one big batch and it's gonna last you, no joke, for months. 217 calories for dessert, 24 net carb. Dessert's done, supplements are taken. It's eight o'clock, we're watching Cruella on Disney Plus. Y'all let me know if you've watched it before. So far, so good, we just started it. But I won't be up long, cause we gotta get ready for Friday. <laughs>
has been pumped today. It's not even funny. And I don't know what's going on because I only got five hours of sleep with this crazy freaking schedule. It is 6 a.m. right now, 6 o'clock, and we have already freaking killed a workout for the day. Set your intentions, y'all. Set the tone for the day. Wake up in the morning, even if you feel crappy, have a positive mindset, and that is going to push you through. And you know what else is going to push you through? The Redmond's pre-workout. Yesterday I took Equip and I shouldn't have. I should have taken the Hulk juice is what I call this because I was struggling yesterday all day long. It was a struggle of a day. I mean, we got it done, we powered through, but damn. This right here, holy shnikes. That is like, that's a miracle juice right there. Like y'all know I love the Equip pre-workout, but I think we got a, a better contender. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. That Redmond's is the ish and you need it in your life and Inver just gives you a discount with that. Definitely get the peach mango. I like that flavor a little bit more than the blueberry one. We did chest, we did shoulders today. We did a new circuit and it felt heavy, but it felt great. And the cardio today felt good. Like how is that even possible? Because this whole week long, I have been on the struggle bus with the cardio. It has sucked more than anything else. And today, I, I it went by fast, number one. And secondly, it felt good. I was here for it. I wasn't gonna complain. I was not gonna have Bev like overcome those positive thoughts for sure. We just freaking cranked up our tunes, pushed through, and I feel so freaking good to finish this Friday strong. Finish strong Friday every single week. You wanna finish your week out, whatever your last day of your training is, Finish it to the max of your capability. Lift with, within means as heavy as you can and just do an extra rep. Push through. Push through and do the damn thing. Feeling freaking fire. Real quick though, I want to talk about, I'm getting a, a lot of feedback. <laughs> a lot of feedback on the grocery hauls and on the meal plan videos. And you know, it, I'm never going to be able to convince some people, it doesn't matter what I say, right? So I, I could go on and on and on. People are gonna have things stuck in their brain or they're gonna have be set a certain way. You can't please everybody. I know all these things. A lot of people are concerned about the processed foods they're seeing in the grocery hauls. Well, if you're watching the vlog, so you're watching today, how much processed foods did you see me eat this week for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks? Don't count the drinks, girl. Besides the drinks, besides the drinks, when we're still drinking a gallon of water, we're drinking the bang, we're drinking one soda a day, zero soda, not full soda, not full sugar soda, just one zero soda a day. How much processed stuff did you see me consume? We're eating mainly whole foods. So somebody got all like bent out of shape, not somebody, multiple people got bent out of shape about the Velveeta in last week's vlog and in the grocery hauls. Guys, I had Velveeta once. I had it for the Sloppy Joes, the open face Sloppy Joes and I have not had it since one time, and I don't plan on having it next week on the meal plan. I've already made the meal plan for the following week. So to have one or two slices of Velveeta cheese in a freaking month, that's going to deter your journey. That's gonna give you cancer. They were talking about the ingredients in it. You know, my, my stance on this, I was very, I've said this many times, I was an ingredient phobe an ingredient phobe and y'all want me to do a video on why I've transitioned over. I haven't transitioned over to everything, right? You still eat me, see me eating whole foods. You still see me choosing certain products over others when I could go the other way because it's cheaper, convenient, whatever. I'm just choosing things strategically for this lifestyle. I'm not going gung-ho and like going all out bad ingredient stuff but I don't feel like those things in moderation, y'all, are going to affect your journey, affect your gut health, give you cancer, all these things that people like are brainwashed about with, with stuff. If you do it in moderation, yes, if you consume crappy stuff, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and everything on your plate, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks is a processed food, absolutely, I agree with that. That is not the way, but you don't see me doing that. So for y'all to come for me, I just, I just feel like it's very unnecessary. I feel like it's unnecessary, period, for you to come for anybody for the lifestyle they choose or for the decisions they make to, you know, whatever they're doing for themselves are not watching the other videos. They're just seeing Velveeta, they're seeing a particular cracker and they think that's what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, apparently, and think I'm gonna die, so. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to educate as much as possible. I, I'm learning every day, just like you guys. Like, I'm never perfect. I'm never going to tell you guys that I have my, my ish together and that I'm perfect. And I think that's why you guys come back to these vlogs because you know I don't have my ish together. I struggle just like you guys because I am one of y'all. I am one of you guys. I'm not some person on a pedestal on YouTube or in social media. I am a mom that works from home that wants to be healthy and fit overall just like almost every one of you guys watching period 9 30 and i had a nice little power nap a little over an hour the boys let me thank you boys so we've got our usual peaches we've got an omelet with one egg 150 grams of egg whites we've got two of the butterball turkey sausages on there. Love those so much. I do have a wedge of the laughing cow garlic and herb that I threw in there that it melted all nice. And then one tablespoon of the Gaines Bakery poppy sauce. I'm almost killed that bottle. Thank goodness I've got some backups that I got. And then I'm doing a Mardi Gras K-Cup from Community. That's one of my favorites. But the Equip Vanilla Tea Powder has just slightly more calories and a little bit more carbs. So that's why you see me go into the chocolate because it's less of everything. This meal for breakfast is 460 calories, 17 net carbs. That was so delicious and filling. Remember when I did it on my birthday on Tuesday with a tortilla? Yeah, you don't need the tortilla at all. Definitely recommend putting the little wedge in there while you're cooking it because it got all melty. Oh man, fire, fire filling, delicious. So they just built this new splash pad like 15 minutes from our house. I'm so stoked about it. It's supposed to rain in like an hour, so I thought I'd get them out the house and let them play. We got the whole place to ourselves. Man, this is gonna be awesome for summer. I'm so excited. Back home from Splash Pad Fun. The boys just ate. Now it's mommy's turn to eat lunch. It's Frenchy Egg Frye, of course. So we've got 300 grams of egg whites with a ton of apple pie spice. We've got the Lakanto peanut butter powder mixed with water underneath there. A buttload of berries, as always. We've got four slices of the Applegate turkey bacon. One slice of this new bread I'm trying. This is from Sam's Club. If you buy it at Walmart on its own, it's like the same price as buying two at Sam's. Like, ridiculous. Nature's Own Life Honey Wheat Keto Bread. 40 calories. I don't know why they advertise it as keto bread because one slice is seven net carbs. So it's definitely not keto in my opinion it's a low carb bread it's great for cutting because it's 40 calories for one slice zero fat we've got three protein and seven net carbs so that is amazing so i'm gonna try it i'll update you guys and let you know i've got almost 50 grams of mashed avocado on it with some of the good culture two percent cottage cheese everything but the bagel seasoning love that combo so much like i could eat five pieces of that for, for the day and be in heaven like so good this whole meal is 529 calories 20 net carbs not bad if i say so myself and yes i am going in with a bang froze rose i'm feeling great energy today be honest but i've got a long day ahead of me with both the boys and we've got a lot of things to do so anything that can help you girl out we got to do it friday's lunch freaking epic as all hell y'all this bread is good it gets a thumbs up Really like the texture. All I did was put in the toaster and just toasted it up easy peasy. Added the mashed real avocado, real good cottage cheese with everything in the bagel seasoning. And that was life fire. Frenchy eggs, always a win. So I, I downed the bang like in no time. And we're doing our electrolytes. Yes, I've got a lot of y'all questioning if you're doing a low carb cut it, or anabolic diet, if you should still be doing electrolytes. Yes, you should always have good electrolyte flow. You know, a lot of people use Powerades and stuff. This is a better alternative. See, I am still making good options, y'all. I'm not drinking the Powerades. I'm drinking some other things, you know, but you know what I'm saying, okay? We're, we're making good options still. And I love this one. I'm almost out of this one. That just shows you how much I love it because you get so many servings in this thing. But I'm gonna switch to a Blackberry once I get done with this. So I got my second half gallon going on at one o'clock. We've got things to do, grocery shopping, in the rain, all the things, but we gotta power through and gotta get it done because we just fueled ourselves. 417, just got back from the grocery and film in the hall, which takes forever. And I did have in my purse and was already plugged in my macros for my snack, two of the new Primal Lightly Pepper Turkey Sticks. So I had those in the car on our way to our second store. So we got that snack in and now I'm getting dinner prepped. Sweet potatoes have been in the oven. They're almost done. Y'all weigh up your stuff. This is the second week I've been like mind blown by like stuff either being too much or nine times out of 10, nine and a half times out of 10, it's not being enough. 
So this chicken breast from Sam's Club, the Members Mark one, I, I had two servings plugged in there, and it would have been the whole can. And it says that there's supposed to be four servings in a container. But I was weighing it up and it all matches the grams and everything and it's totally not right. So I <laughs> I did not need a whole can. So I just weighed it up. This is 120 something grams. But my macro, it was way off for my macro. So like the whole time I've just been plugging in a whole can of this. If I haven't been measuring it out, I haven't been getting the amount of protein and I haven't been eating the amount of calories. It's been insane. So you, you got to weigh up everything, y'all. Weigh up everything. It is mind blowing. Here is dinner, barbecue chicken, stuffed sweet potatoes. And we did the hack with this. Weigh it up though. Super easy. I've got a tablespoon of the Daisy light sour cream on top with a little bit of parsley. That's it. There's nothing else in there. Two tablespoons of Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. And that's it. Plain Jane, but it's going to be delicious. Plain steamed broccoli from Great Value with some salt and one tablespoon of the sweet poppy sauce from Gaines Bakery. And my gallon of water is donezo for today. Yes, we did that. Bang coffee, everything. We've been killing it since we've been waking up at the butt crack of dawn. And now I am having a Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar drink yes i am even though it's got caffeine at 5 30. probably not the best idea but we doing it and celebrating and finishing strong and out of the three y'all probably think the cherry coke one is my favorite because that was my favorite prior to keto this one hands down is my number one number one then it would be the mountain dew one like who would have thought and then the cherry coke one what the actual heck this meal is 451 calories, 43 net carbs. That was epic. Y'all, sometimes simple and less is more. And sometimes it's like the most tasty dinners or meals when it's just basic, simple stuff. I don't even know, but that was fire. Still sipping on my Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero. And we've got an epic dessert that we had this week, but we're gonna scale it down. All right, y'all, I just made Greg Doucette's ice cream again but we did the small size it still looks like the same size I don't know but I did it right this time because he always talks about you can take this and put it over your head and that's how you're supposed to make his protein ice cream the one I made the other night yeah, I couldn't do that it was runny but there you go and here we go what <laughs> are you guys seeing this are you kidding me like next level we did it right we got it mastered this time oh Nelly and that, look at that small size. Are you kidding me? In heaven. This is like my new favorite thing of all time. Like I cannot wait to try his other flavors. This is the chocolate peanut butter one from his cookbook. I've got 100 grams of diced strawberries on top and 23 grams of this Hershey syrup, the zero sugar one. I like it. I know some of y'all said y'all can't stand the taste of it. Y'all said that y'all like the Walden's Farm better. I haven't tried that one. I like that one. This is coming in at only, only y'all of this big ass bowl, 218 calories. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Like, remember when we were doing keto and like Rebel was my life and one fourth, okay? There's four servings in Rebel. One fourth of Rebel was like a million calories in fat. And you know you ain't just eating one portion, girl. You know it. Look at this, 218 calories. I mean, come on y'all. I'm just saying, 13 net carbs. Let's go Friday. Next level obsessed obsessed y'all are you hearing me like buy the damn his freaking cookbook as he says just for the different ice creams in it i mean there's so many other things in there like hundreds of recipes i know it's expensive but i would have never dreamed how simple that is how mass quantity how delicious low calorie omg i'm here for it all right the small the small portion girl it's not as much as the big one the other one was like filled to the top and I definitely was like uncomfortable with like not even eating all of it. This I'm next level full, but satisfied. So definitely do the small version. It still makes a ton as you guys saw. And I'm definitely gonna try the other chocolate syrups you guys have been telling me about. I like this one though, so I'm definitely gonna go through it. But with the strawberries in there and that combo all together tastes so bomb, y'all. Let me know if you've tried protein ice cream. I know there's a lot of them floating around on the internet, not just Greg's, but let me know if you've tried it and how you like spice it up and all the things. I need to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my nightly supplements and I'm done with water. We've had a million drinks today, waking up at three. I'm you sure get a lot of freaking liquid in, I guess with the extra time you're up, but I'm gonna drink some more water and have my supplements. But we did awesome on our macros today, as you guys can see. Feeling great with this like calorie count, like I adjusted them, but 
about 1750, which was what my allotment was the first week, is where I've been feeling pretty comfortable with or coming just a little bit shy of that and not feeling hungry or not feeling deprived at all and having a lot of energy and like Trey in the background, even though we haven't been getting enough sleep, which we have two days off of rest. Thank you, Jesus. Let's rest up and get rejuvenated for another week coming. Week four, baby, I'm coming for you. Week three, low carb cut. What did we feel? What did we think? I think most of you probably guessed it that the energy was low because of the lack of sleep and the schedule. I've only got to do that schedule Monday and Tuesday of this week when you're watching and then Trey will be in his summer school. Thank you, Jesus, just so I can get the training in and not have to wake up the butt crack of dawn. I'm really gonna have to wake up the butt crack of dawn on Monday and Tuesday of this week because the hubby has to go to work even earlier. So it is going to be a challenge for two days, but guess what? I can do anything for two days. If I can do 75 hard in phase one, we can crank out two days, girl. So let's talk about results. Let's Let's get into the results y'all i am so freaking stoked for this for you guys the sun always in my damn face y'all so i weighed in last weekend at 141 on the dot this weekend we weighed in i will pop it up so you can see it 138.8 so we lost 2.2 pounds in a freaking week we are down officially five pounds even that was my goal in the beginning i'm keeping my macros at absolutely the same because where I have them right now, I'm not feeling de deprived. I'm feeling full. I'm feeling full of energy. I'm lifting heavy in the gym. I'm feeling all the feels. So why mess with that? So I'm just going to keep that rolling. I went to Target yesterday. Um, Y'all didn't see it because it was the weekend. I went and got my nails done. Went and got pampered and spent some time with some girlfriends for my birthday. And I went to Target. The dressing rooms are open. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My ladies out there know the feeling. So I tried on some swimsuits and I brought in some bottoms that I figured would fit my my big old booty y'all legit not even joking like they were they were falling off like I didn't even they weren't even staying up and then fitting in this top I got this crop top um yeah like I didn't think this would I just I'm just mind blown I'm mind blown at the whole thing the body fat that is being shed in replacement with the muscle gain because of the protein that we're eating is insane and just feeling most importantly guys i'm feeling the absolute best i have ever felt and loving all the foods that we are eating like everything is so delicious so filling so good and i am just here for it 100 percent. and so many of y'all are flooding in and sending me your progress and please leave it in the comments if you're doing the low carb cut if you're doing the anabolic diet if you're doing anything similar to this leave it in the comments so everybody can see but every message i've received on instagram every comment that people have made on the other videos everything on facebook in the closed facebook group about this way of eating people are feeling good number one which they weren't before and they are getting freaking results and i'm not talking just like half a pound i'm talking like major results and we're going into week four like consistent results each and every week that is crazy because so many people were in a stall in a stall and in a funk and now they're changing up their way of eating and they are seeing results and feeling rejuvenated and refreshed because they've been going at this for six months a year with just keto or whatever the case may be carnivore and they just weren't seeing it and y'all know that i am still passionate about keto absolutely i'm eating keto friendly stuff eating keto meals but when you incorporate higher protein and healthier carbs in the mix, it is making a world of difference for me. And I am just rolling with this and I'm so excited to see where the next few weeks take us towards the end of the six week period. So we are going into week four, already re reached our goals. We're gonna continue with the 30 minute incline cardio. Cardio is definitely helping and definitely helping my cardiovascular health as well, which is important and important for you guys. So just get out there guys and move your body and don't be afraid to try something new. Don't be scared of a banana. Don't be scared of an apple. Don't be scared of a slice of bread. It's okay if you eat all these things in moderation and if you're tracking and in a caloric deficit it's going to be fine it's when you take these things and you go at ape ape shit right and you go to dunkin donuts you go to mcdonald's you go to these places and you just absolutely go haywire you can't do that but if you do it the right way if you do it the strategic way if you track if you plug everything weigh everything up you're going to see results you're not going to feel deprived you're going to have energy and you're going to keep moving forward with your goals 
let's freaking go. I am so pumped. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy these weekly vlogs, please give it a huge thumbs up. I know I seemed like a little bit of a Debbie Downer in the beginning and throughout because I was just so freaking tired and just trying to push through, but that's just showing you that I'm struggling just like you guys do as well, and we're in this to win this together. If you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube fam, and until next week, guys, when you see week four, I hope you have an awesome week this week. I hope you show up every day, do the damn thing, and let's freaking kill another week of the low carb cut. See y'all next time. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.